What's up guys, Jason Layman here with episode number 34 of our Williams Revival series here on F1 Manager 22. You know the score by now, we're in the last race of the season, the 2023 season. We're going to Yas Marina in the UAE and we are hoping for the very, very best. We've had a good run of results recently, we've been consistently on or near the podium. Over the last few races, we've got one more part, the new right wing, or rear wing, sorry, coming in in just a moment as well, which is going to help us immensely, so we can get those parts on the car. In fact, that rear wing may have come in already. I don't know if it came in by the end of the last episode or not. Let's have a little look and see if we need to build it now or not. You'll notice, by the way, I've got the sound effects back into the game now. Uh, I've done some jiggery pokery. If it is too loud, let me know, but hopefully it won't be. I'm not entirely sure, but hopefully it will be just fine. That is my plan for that, so let me know. Right, in the meantime, guys and gals, we're, uh, we're going to hope for the very best we can do. With this, sorry, my brain was doing four things at once then. I don't know why, but you know, such is life, right? Such is life. Anyway, let's see. Real wing, we're still manufacturing, we're still designing it, sorry, good stuff. All right, let's see what we can do here then. Design complete or design already complete. Chassis research complete. That's a thing I needed to make happen. That tells me I'm probably already building the brand new rear wing. I am building the brand new rear wing. Good. I knew what I was doing. I was just testing you. Have I, have I put it on the car? Was I smart enough last episode to emergency manufacture it? I probably wasn't, but there we go. Uh, rear wing manufacturing. That's fine. If it's not coming by the race, then we won't have it for the race, I guess. We were going to do some... So I'm still still half recovering from the cold I've had all week. Those who watch the Football Manager content will know I've been suffering from a cold, something horrendous for the last year, well, for the last week or so, for like a year, for the last week or so. Uh, we're going to put all of our hours into the chassis, though, because that is going to give us all of the top speed, which is going to be a thing we desperately, desperately need for next season. You watch this turn out horribly when I need to do another bit of research in a, in a bit. In fact, before I, before I commit to that, let's just see how long our other research projects are going to take because that's going to be really important. We've got 37 days, 40 days. Yeah, it's probably good. this is probably going to be the last piece of research we do. So we'll put it all into the chassis because the chassis is going to lose some of its luster for next year. And we would like for that to not be a problem. So we'll chuck all our wind tunnel hours and CFD hours and everything into this for next season is going to show me the performance relative to the other cars on the grid it's not uh we're going to go for optimized race performance yeah why not that should be good right can, will it let me get this on the car it will let me get this get this done in time for the end of the year good stuff we may actually just sneak another project in i'm not entirely sure but we'll cross that bridge when we get there because it's all just about making sure we have the fastest car on the grid for next season it's going to tell me now about the chassis research being completed. That's fine. We're going to do, keep doing the chassis research. Keep getting the pace up. We need to have the fastest car on the grid for next season. That is our plan. Fastest car on the grid next season is the plan all along. We've manufactured the rear wing. Hopefully that was the new one because if it wasn't, I'm going to be in trouble. Uh, right, let's have a little look. Rear wing. New rear wing. Please change new rear wing. Good stuff. We've got two of those on the door on the car. Beautiful. As I said, I think last episode, if we damage one, I will build a new, but we can't really change one in a race anyway, so hopefully that will see us through to the end of the season. Right, race-wise, we need to have a look to see how our car stacks up against the rest of the grid before we do this. Uh, we are top speed 6th, medium speed 4th. Hmm. I'm going to say we can get both cars in the top 6 I know it's a bold prediction. It's the last race of the season. Let's just tell them both cars top six. We're going to get both cars into the, into Q3. You watch me mess up qualifying horrendously now. As those who watch the channel regularly know, I'm very good at doing uh, often. Uh, we're going to say both of our cars top six finishes because that should get us a healthy chunk of change. And that's what we need right now. Okay, so we're good to go for the race now. See if anything important is going to come up. But one thing I do need to check, because I never check this, and I always I always wish I had when I get there. Let's have a look at the circuit data, which I know I can get to faster. Do it to yell at the screen. 
Uh, I never look at a expected strategy as medium hard, looks like a safe-ish bet, that's fine. Uh, but I also never look at the time consideration screen. So 25 seconds for the pit lane, uh, green flag 23, safety car 14. There's an 80% chance of a safety car, which is good knowledge because that, I need to keep those numbers in my head for the race weekend. Anyway, I'm going to go do practice and qualifying. I'll see you after Q3. And uh, hopefully we'll go and get a good result in the race and my voice will hold up. Okay, so quali is done then. And uh, it's been... Interesting. Interesting is what I'm looking for. Charles Leclerc takes pole. Carlos Sainz takes second. So the battle, the shootout for the title between the two Ferraris, very much on. Sergio Perez in third. Hamilton in fourth. Oscar Piastri takes fifth. George Russell takes sixth, but a grid penalty that will bump up Lando Norris, who got seventh. Valtteri Bottas got eighth. The time that got him in eighth was his banker lap. He uh, he crashed out on his flying lap, unfortunately. Max Verstappen, shockingly. One of the other title contenders starts in ninth, so watch for him to come through and follow Valtteri probably through the field. And Fernando Alonso rounds out the top ten. Danny Ricciardo takes 11th, Magnussen in 12th, Vettel in 13th, Ocon in 14th, Gasly in 15th with a penalty, Mick Schumacher in 16th, Stroll in 17th, Sonoda in 18th, and Albon and Shou Guan Yu are bringing up the rear as always and a long way off the pace, so expect that we'll lap them. And teams will have to make tough split-second decisions here if they're going to succeed. An exhilarating race lies ahead of us with the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. So, race is upon us then. We've had our intro from Karun and from Crofty. We need to stick a new chassis on Valtteri Bottas' car because he's had a slight mishap. He's... Wow. Okay. I've had the weakest possible chassis on all of the cars the entire season. This is adjustments locked. That's not good. I've been running without our fastest chassis, our fastest anything on the car. Beautiful stuff. Okay. Uh, right, we need to put a, an emergency manufacturer right wing on, or rear wing, I don't know why I keep saying right wing, on that car. Beautiful stuff. Let's get that on the car too as well. Good stuff. I did read that right, didn't I? I have got the wrong chassis on the car. Or is it just, no, I just can't read. Good stuff. Love that. Right, we're going to replace some parts actually of Alfred's car as well because he's had that mishap. Uh, let's have a look. That's going to be a 75. I've got a feeling I've got a 77 somewhere. Sure, I saw one somewhere. All right, we're going to have to send Valtteri out with just a 75% engine. That's not going to help him at all. I'm tempted to take the penalty. It's the last race of the season. And we have nothing really to play for bar pride. So, uh, 77, an 80, and an 72. So, we'll stick his best DRS in the car as well. We'll do the same for Oscar. We're not going to be super mean. And that gearbox has officially died. So uh, that one's got to be a, an 80, I think it's an 81 somewhere. No, okay, we'll take the 80, that's fine. Stick that on the car, hopefully that's not going to affect us in terms of penalties. If it does, then I'm just going to take penalties throughout the car. That's not a problem, right, let's do a fill up the car because there's not really that much in it. And we'll, uh, we'll look for full pace, or full fuel usage, I should say, and overtake. We'll sort out strategies in just a second, once I've had a chance to get these car parts in the right order. I think we've got the best of everything on Piastri's car, but of course we'll have a check, because we're going to need as much pace as we can get. That's an 81. We've got installed an 84. Do we have an 85 anywhere? No, no advance on 84, good stuff. Any advance on 86 on the ERS, that's very possible. Uh, no, by all those things. And gearbox, I've got a feeling I do have a gearbox in the 80s somewhere. Uh, 76, 74. 
I don't. Okay, good. Good. We're fully set up there with Piastri as well. Good times. We'll again go full usage of the fuel and full overtake. Try and grab as many positions off the grid as we can, right? Uh, we'll do Bottas' strategy first because I think he's the safest bet to just go for a two or one stop. Um, says two stop with medium, two sets of medium is quickest. I think what we'll do is we'll play it by ear. If we get a safety car, we'll switch to the two because I think that will help. Um, Valtteri does have the pace that I think it will. Can we make that any faster by maybe reducing the deg use? Not really. Uh, there's not going to be much time to be gained or lost by pushing any further. We'll just we'll keep it as is. We'll go with a one stop for Valtteri. We'll go with a two stop for Oscar because I feel like if anyone's going to get the best out of a or going to get the worst out of the tyres, I should say. It's going to be Oscar Piastri. He's very good at failing with his tyres. Uh, does, does that make it any faster if we can burn some time there, maybe? Have a, like, super speedy hard stint? I mean, not really. Honestly, at that point, you're probably better off sticking a set of softs on the car and just burning them normally. Um, <laughs> all right. Let's just stick with the bog standard, what it gives us out the box kind of thing to start off with. And we'll, like I said, we'll play it by ear. We'll, we'll be prepared for the safety car. And if not, we'll just make something work. This should go alright for us. Our fifth and a seventh place start. Obviously, Valtteri Bottas on super form right now as well is going to be very helpful. So, without any further ado, let's go back to Karoon and Crofty. Cloudy skies tonight, with the drivers now having taken position on the grid. Here's Williams. They're in the front half of the pack, so there's plenty of potential for them. And there's Bottas, completing the team today. They might not be in the top three spots, but things could change fast once the race gets underway. The teams are ready to go. Anything could happen. It's the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. And we're underway here in uh, in Abu Dhabi for the Grand Prix. We're going to go on board with Oscar, I think, just for the start of the Grand Prix. I think, actually, he should be in a reasonably good position. As long as he's going to overtaken by Lando Norris in a hurry, which is... Uh, very, very wheel-to-wheel -wheel battle with Lando straight away. Valtteri Bottas has made his way through. Good stuff. And he's on the back of his teammate already. That's what we pay Valtteri Bottas for, to be the threat, even to his own teammate. We're just going to keep this going as best we can and hope for the maximum we can get out of this. Piastri overtaking Norris. We kind of saw that. I mean, it wasn't really an overtake as such. It wasn't worth a staying on board for. I am trying to adjust the audio as we go, by the way. So if it gets a bit janky, um, let me know in the comments, because uh, I, I want to get the right setting for this, just so we can uh, ha enjoy the audio without me having to faff around with speakers and recording and whatnot and all that good stuff. Anyway, we're on board with Valtteri right now, and here's Linus Stern with uh, Piastri, to borrow a, borrow a phrase from, uh, from our good friend Martin Brundle. And here we go for a good race, hopefully settling in. We're going to speed things up, though, because feel like this first stint, unless the safety car, is going to be fairly processional, at least until DRS opens. We're just trying to stay in DRS with Piastri. We'll worry about Bottas and Piastri and their positions as the race goes on. We'll kind of let them sort themselves out. As long as they don't hit each other, I'm not overly bothered. And we just need to be trying to stay as close to Hamilton as we possibly can. That's sort of where we're at, is just a, a nice early settle in. Obviously, Leclerc and Sainz battling for the title. Verstappen way down in eight. Still, he's not really making the progress you'd like to think he should be through the field. That's uh, reassuring, I suppose, in the grand scheme of things. Let's, uh, let's see if we can have a little bit more, uh, a little bit more car noise. Why not? Let's go crazy on this one. So we are fully here through. Why not? And uh, 
DRS enabled. enabled. That is what we've been waiting for. With DRS enabled, we can get close to and stay with Hamilton and probably with the leaders as well. Obviously, Bottas and Piastri are probably going to have a little bit of a scrap, but that sometimes is life. That's how it goes sometimes, and that's just what we have to be prepared for here in the F1 World Championship. That's just kind of that's how it how it goes. That's that's all she wrote. So. Nothing spectacular happening right now. Of course, DRS open for both cars. We should start at least staying in touch, catching up to Hamilton. Off a bit of a late braking as Bottas goes for a move on Piastri. That was very cheeky. Piastri switched it back though, and our boys hopefully won't hold each other up with with too much fighting, because you know, as much as it's nice to see them wheel to wheel, we we'd rather catch Lewis. If I'm honest than worry about the boys having a little bit of a scrap. Obviously, we're all pulling away from Lando Norris, which is good for starters, and we're going to get back round to DRS again fairly quickly. I think Piastri is uh, going to have to really push himself to get onto the back of Hamilton again. It's not really working out for him. I'm not sure why I'm tempted to just save some ERS at this point, but I don't want to lose Lewis, and I feel like is it a gamble to just tell Piastri to push himself up close? And something happened in sector two. A crash with several cars involved. None of them were Valtteri Bottas. It looks like we're going to get a safety car, possibly. We'll have a look at the replay in just a second. It's been a penalty given to, to Yuki Sonoda off the back of this. And uh, and those camera angles are terrible. What's... I There's didn't see what happened because it switched Christian camera angle Dreyer, and apparently uh, apparently we lost an Alfa Romeo of Gasly in there somewhere too. Good stuff. That's uh, that's very clean racing. Well done, boys. Right, we're going to drop everyone down to neutral ERS for now because I don't want to use it all up. Just trying to keep on to the back of Hamilton. We've, uh, we've sort of settled into fourth in the championship now anyway. We are using the DRS to pull ourselves away from Verstappen who's got held up a little bit. And as long as he can start catching up to Bottas, I think we can probably take we've probably taken him out of the championship. It is just a straight fight between the two Ferrari drivers. Obviously, Carlos Sainz, the reigning champion in this universe, Charles Leclerc trying to get his first world championship as well. So, you know, for a bit of a Ferrari ding dong could be happening right now as uh, we are trying to stay on the back of Hamilton, who might be sort of in and out of DRS at the moment. That could be very handy. We'll get ourselves caught up to him. Maybe get ourselves a nice slingshot past him. And then get ourselves back in the train with Perez. That would do us beautifully. Let's see how things go off the back of this DRS zone. Looks like Hamilton's not going to get it, is he? Has he got it? He did just about get it. Just about trip the DRS zone. But we're still, we're still staying up there. Norris is actually battling with Verstappen behind us. Which is ridiculous. Lando Norris has not really had a competitive car all year, and he's currently trading places with Max Verstappen. That's a little bit mad. But, you know, that's Formula 1. That's Formula 1 sometimes. That's just how it goes. We're going to go into double speed, though, because we need to get a march on. There's nothing massively happening right now. In fact, let's just go into full speed. Well, in fact, we'll nearly full speed, because I do want to be able to keep an eye on the times. Looks like Piastri has dropped off a little bit from the back of Hamilton. That's not very helpful because that will leave us very vulnerable to uh, to being caught by Norris and Verstappen. It's not something we're looking to do. Hopefully, we'll stay in touch through the uh, through the start finish line. We should have the advantage, you think, over Hamilton. But of course, we are also running worn parts. I don't remember if they took a grid penalty very recently or not. I have a feeling they may have done. So that would explain it. Let's uh, let's give Piastri the. Uh, the old deploy. Let's do full deploy and just try and make sure we're staying in touch with Lewis coming out into the DRS zone because if we don't do that we're going to be in real trouble and uh, we're going to get DRS here. We may not do. We do. That's good. Okay, we're okay for now. Let's just keep the deployment going. We're trying to get ourselves back into the train with Lewis. Get ourselves as close to him as possible. Obviously we'll pull Valtteri with us. We're not going to lose Valtteri Bottas in a hurry. So that's not a big concern. Leclerc and Sainz up top are currently swapping position as well. So they've realised the title is on and they are going to go for it. Quite frankly, they're just going to go for the title as as a straight dogfight. Ferrari have, 
have wrapped up the constructors, so they've got nothing to worry about as a team. They are just worrying a little bit about what a, well, who's going to be the world champion at the end of today's race. I have a strange feeling it may be Carlos Sainz. Carlos Sainz may be a repeat champion, because Leclerc has had a horrible habit of bottling it when the pressure's been on, which is not terribly helpful when you're trying to win a world championship. I guess it's been very realistic. Has a habit of just bottling a win at any time it, it comes up. But either way, Piastri staying on the back of Hamilton. We're looking pretty good. We're going to go double speed just to get those, ourselves through the race a bit quick. And uh, there's almost certainly going to be a safety car that will make a uh, make a mockery of any plans we may have had in the near future. So let's be keeping an eye out for that. Piastri doing okay on his tyres. Like I said, the, the split strategy is going to be an issue as we've got onto the back of Hamilton and the DRS open. Can we get, start closing up to Lewis a little bit? You'd think we'd try it with the DRS open, we'd actually be okay, but I don't think we're actually superior to the, to the Mercedes under drag production. I think that's one of the areas where they do get us. So it's okay, but either way, Bottas has a nice six-second gap back to Norris. We could get a free pit stop in here before the window opens, which would be very nice for us especially with Bottas planning a one-stop. Obviously, mileage may vary, but he's planning a one-stop, and we'll see how that goes. So, Piastri, DRS open, having a look down the outside of Hamilton, actually is catching Hamilton reasonably quickly. He's staying in touch, for sure, and I don't know if we can rule ourselves out of moving up a couple of places here. It does seem odd that Bottas is kind of staying behind Piastri. You'd think Bottas would have found a way to force himself through and stay there by now. But Piastri, you know, he's due a good drive. He's due an impressive uh, impressive run for us. If this is what it, if this is the race where he gets it, fair play to him. Leave uh, leave the, the end of the season, leave the, through the winter break with a bit of a thing to think about uh, whether or not he is uh, perhaps becoming the number one driver or almost ready to be a, prop, a true number one driver. As things continue, Piastri back with the DRS open, having another look at Lewis. You can try it under braking, not quite. I actually haven't checked the tyres, see what, ty what the tyre situation is. Hamilton's on softs, so he's two stopping, so is Sainz. I'm going to have to revise my thought about Leclerc being involved in this as, uh, as Piastri gets past Lewis. We'll look at the off-board when that comes up in a second. But Hamilton will be starting to and lose his tyres. Let's have a look Williams. at that from the off-board. See how that looked from the now, TV cameras. Here. Oh, he's just done him. Just done him under braking. Good stuff by Oscar Piastri. And is Hamilton going to lose the place to Valtteri and Bottas we as well? That could be a big question for the rest of the race. Is Hamilton about to lose a place to Valtteri Bottas and really, really kind of kick the hornet's, hornet's nest a little bit. Piastri's going to struggle to catch up to Perez, but I think trading places with Hamilton might actually be beneficial here, just in the long term. Hamilton should fly past us here, you would think. Is he going to do it? No, he's not going to make the move. Piastri is losing that time to Carlos Sainz now, who is dropping back. The, uh, the softs seem to have gone off prematurely, I think is what we're saying. But this is going to leave it to Leclerc and Perez to fight for the win, it's if this is the case. James Hamilton's taken the position back off us. That's not the biggest trouble in the world, actually. I'm okay with that as a situation, because we do need to be kind of leapfrogging each other to stay in touch with Carlos Sainz at this point, who will stay in touch for the lead, I'm sure. But we do need the DRS here. We're going to get it. And we're going to try and take Hamilton again around the outside. We're going to do it on the first DRS zone. We're going to play it smart and try it on the second one. Looks like we're going to try it for the second one instead, which might be the wiser play here if we can get a good run on Lewis down the support pit straight. We haven't quite got it, but we're okay. We're in the fight still. And, uh, yeah, Lewis is being dropped. And we're all being dropped if Lewis is being dropped. But, you know, it's not, it's not over yet. There's a couple of cars up there probably who are two stopping. I'm struggling to see who else would be two stopping with uh, with the soft tyre starters. It might be a case that Bottas needs to two stop as well, but you know, that's life, isn't it? It's life. We're going to be fine. I'm just uh, very conscious of the fact that we're not getting this overtake done. Come on, buddy. Let's get this overtake done. It shouldn't be too difficult. It's just a seven time world champion. You've got DRS. 
make it happen. Going up the inside, good stuff. Let's let's do it that way. That's always a better choice than trying to go around the outside. And hopefully we'll start to get ourselves clear here. In fact, I'm going to jump on board with Valtteri, because he's position. got a far better view of Williams. this battle. But also because I think he's going to be the next one to pass Lewis. Because Lewis's tyres look like they are coming off the cliff right now. Uh, in fact, they're very close to falling off the cliff. The useful useful performance goes to about 40%. And I think he's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a sitting duck on one of these DRS straights. It looks like Piastri will start to pull away fairly quickly. Valtteri having a little look-see. Doesn't quite get there. Hamilton having a look at Piastri. Trying to go around the outside. Bold, brave. He's probably going to make... He's not going to make it. Well, of course, I forgot that's not a chicane anymore. If that was still a chicane, we'd have been in trouble. But Bottas is going to keep Hamilton honest. That's almost a certainty at this point. We're doing okay. We are very much, very much in the race still, which is a nice thing to see. And we need to get ourselves past Lewis and on our way before it all kind of starts going a little bit middling. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I've got faith. I've got full faith in us. That's what I'm I'm choosing to believe. Anyway, I just don't know if I do have full faith in us to get more than a fourth and a, a fourth and fifth, maybe. I don't think we're gonna get a podium today. I've just, just got a feeling it's not gonna be a podium type day today. I think it's gonna be a we gratefully accept whatever points we can get and go for I mean, admittedly, yes, I could have spent the money, I could have thrown in some new engine parts for Valtteri, and he probably would have won the race because that's what Valtteri does. As Lewis comes in for the pit, so does Carlos Sainz, and we've released Piastri and Bottas on to the chase now for Sergio Perez. It's going to be Bottas and Piastri having a battle now at the DRS. That should prove quite interesting. We do need to build this gap to Lando, though. That's going to be where things really get interesting. If we can build this gap to Lando and get ourselves that free pit stop. I think we'll be laughing as Valtteri gets the DRS, He's going for the around the outside, bit of a bit of a gentlemanly teammate kind of, well, I'll, I'll do it, but I'll try and do it the hard way. You know, let's not get messed around. It'll be fine. Nobody else has come in yet, though, so that's, I say nobody else. A lot of cars have come in. Nobody has come in that was not starting on soft tyres, is what I'm trying to say. As uh, Bottas is still drawing ever closer to Piastri, he will pass Piastri in the near future and disappear, I feel like. But, for now, things staying fairly even. Right, Bottas, DRS, gonna have a look. Round the outside, it's not the one, buddy, and uh, Piastri actually doing quite a good job of defending. He didn't defend like this when he was the number one driver in the team, and I think he might be a little bit miffed that he's no longer the number one driver in the team. Bottas using his DRS just to keep up, keep in touch with him. Nothing too dramatic, nothing too hasty to worry about. We're just going to try and follow each other through and not lose too much time, hopefully, to the cars ahead. Although, it's eight seconds already. Pit window open for Oscar Piastri. That's going to be very interesting uh, because I do need to bring him in. In fact, I think I might switched Bottas to the uh, to the two stop. Now I'm thinking about it because I don't know how much further these tyres are going to get. And I'm not sure Bottas is actually on target with the tyres. I think he's just behind target with the tyres. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We'll play it, as I said, by ear. It should be all good. It's Bottas now looking for the overtake on his teammate up through DRS. Going into the chicane here. Hopefully they won't come together. They've not come together. Good times. Bottas is through. Now does Bottas have the pace to start making a little bit of a dent in Perez and Leclerc? That becomes the interesting factor of this stage in the race. Does he have what it takes to make that kind of gap shrink? He should be able to drop Piastri. He's a better driver and a slightly, you know, he's a slightly more powerful. I can't remember the numbers. It's fine. It's been a long time, and uh, it'll, be, it'll be okay. We're just looking to see now if Bottas can start to maybe claw in that gap a little bit to the cars ahead. I don't think he can because of the DRS. I think that's what's keeping uh, Leclerc and Perez clear, and fair play, but, you know, we're just trying to secure this podium now, secure the bag. Norris, has he come in for tyres? He hasn't yet. Science has. 
Science could still be in the conversation for the uh, for the overall race lead here. It all depends on whether Leclerc is one or two stopping, or whether Perez is one or two stopping. They're now at battle ahead of us, so that's a thing for us to consider. As Piastri and Bottas are still scrapping, they're still still on each other's rear wing. It's not it's not over yet. It's really not over yet. I mean, Piastri is going to come in for the pits fairly soon. And he'll drop way down the order, hopefully coming out ahead of Verstappen. I'm sort of hoping on a safety car. Not going to lie, sort of hoping for a safety car to come out in the very near future. Because that would help us out a lot if we could get a safety car. Um, if only because I could take Bottas a little bit longer on the medium tyres to get him towards the end as we're going now DRS overtake for Piastri who will be coming at the end of next lap so I don't really want him holding Bottas up but of course they are different, like I said, different strategies for now we'll see how that holds up but for now different strategies is the call we're making so we're going to cross the line here it's going to tell us this is the pit window lap good stuff we're going to switch on to our hard boots for the middle sector and uh, see how far Box. we can take them. It will, as I said, we're going to pull out as much as we can, I think, to the safety car. Hopefully. So I'm not going to actually push Piastri's hards. Because I think we can get on a set of softs at the end. I've just got a feeling we're going to get a chance for a set of softs at the end. That might make some difference somewhere. As Ocon, Mick Schumacher... Large Stroll and Yuki Sonoda have all come in. Sonoda's going to drop back a lot because he's got that penalty to serve as well. So that's going to be a question mark. As I said, Piastri about to kind of come in as well for his stop. Bottas should be okay to go around one more time without causing too much harm to his tyres. That would be the ideal. And we'll see how that goes because I feel like Bottas is about to come back at, a, at his teammate here. That's probably a sure thing at this stage. He hasn't made it work. I thought he was going to make it work. I had to kind of hold my breath a little bit there. It's absolutely fine. Right? Piastri is about to come in for his stop. Bottas is, uh, is going to stay out a lap. Perez has come in. So Perez will come out behind Bottas. And then it becomes a question of what can we do from okay, here. If Bottas will move up into second place. Copy. We will jump on board so with Piastri for his pit stop. We can see Perez about to come out there. You should like to think that Bottas will stay ahead of him. Because uh, as weird as this pit exit is here, I don't think it's enough to make anything happen. Perez dropping way down the order. He's now out of the fight with Carlos Sainz. We've done a sub 2-6 pit stop with Piastri. That's beautiful. As Bottas now is going to find himself in an interesting situation with Carlos Sainz behind him. I'm a little bit tempted to extend Bottas's uh, time in the pit window, but I'm also very aware his, uh, his mediums are done. They are toast at this point. So we're going to switch on to a set of cards on this lap. Okay, box. And it is going to be a hope for a safety car kind of race from here on out. Because if we don't get a safety car, we are... We're going to lose this one. It's going to be a two-stop and a not particularly special two-stop. It has to be said. But we're doing okay. I think we've got Piastri out in ninth. So still on the edge of the points. He's behind Hamilton. Has Hamilton pit yet? He has pit. Okay, we've, had, we've been undercut by Lewis. Bit of a concern. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Because it looks like two-stop is actually quite a smart play. As oh, Norris has come in with us to the pits, Perez will go past momentarily. There we go. Let's see how long we spend in the box. It's going to be a 2.53, so quicker than Piastri for Bottas. That's good. Where are they going to come up on track? I feel like Piastri is going to get a good lead on Valtteri coming up you know, with the undercut. The undercut looking very powerful here at Abu Dhabi. And now I'm starting to question whether or not we really, really push these tyres to get ourselves to the next pit stop, get ourselves onto the two stop maybe for another set of mediums. Is that wise? 
is that smart? I don't know. I really don't. I'm really, really befuddled actually at this point. Uh, do I do it? Yes. Why not? Stay close to the cars in front. I'm gonna say yes. Let's go push, push on the, this stint. We are gonna go two stop with Bottas. We're gonna use Piastri as our kind of guide for that. Leclerc is coming in and he's gonna come out way behind Science. Kind of gift Science the title at this stage. I know he's one stopping probably, but I think he could be gifting Carlos Science the title of it here. And we're going to have to use everything we've got in our car to push ourselves to the back of Lewis to get ourselves in the DRS train and have a shot of getting ourselves back towards the podium. Danny Rick is doing very well. He's not pit. He's the one man who's not been in the pit yet, which does explain everything. I think he's probably just about to come in. But you are the fastest. he's had a very interesting drive as Piastri takes the fastest lap of the race so far. And Ricardo has come out in. Well, he's come out in. He's still in four. I thought I just saw Leclerc come in. Maybe I was hallucinating. It happens. Piastri's had a lock up into the wall and brought out a safety car. Okay. Um, thanks for that, buddy. Uh, that's gone well. Alright, we've got a safety car. Let's conserve everything. I'm gonna have. Send out Piastri on a cell. I don't know if I've got another set of hards for Piastri. I'm assuming he's going to rejoin the race. He may well not rejoin the race. He's not rejoining the race. Good stuff. Okay. We We're all work. about Valtteri Bottas because Piastri, too much pressure on him, has had a moment. So we're going to try and hold on to these hard tyres. This could play very well for Danny Ricciardo. This gives him a chance to get himself into the pits. Looks like there's been a lockup. Uh, if he comes out comes into the pits now, he'll come out just behind Alonso and in a really good position for some but in fact he might even might come out ahead of Alonso. I'm just trying to quick math that. It's not really going anywhere, so that's fine. Let's uh let's speed up time and see how things shake out. Danny Rick has come in. Let's see where Danny Rick's coming out. I'd like to think eighth or ninth. If he comes out ahead of Verstappen, Max could be in real trouble because he'll have fresher tires. He's not going to come out ahead of Max. That's probably worked out to Max's benefit, let's be completely honest. But we're going to settle into fifth behind the safety car. Let ourselves relax a little bit. And the safety car will come in fairly quickly, you'd have to think. Overtake, Overtake available. available. Good stuff. Well done. Keep those tyres warm. Keep the temperature in them. We're going to be... Interesting position. Where are we, where are we on tyres? So, Hamilton's tyres not as good as ours. Leclerc, much better tyres. Perez, touch and go. Really would like another two or three laps under the safety car, ideally. We're not going to get them, because the safety car will come in this lap. But if we get a couple of laps okay, Valtteri, under the safety the car, car will come in this we'll lap. be okay. We'll be laughing. I just want to get ourselves to the point where the safety car is in. Good stuff. So we'll go standard, balance, and uh, overtake. Why not? In fact, let's go push. Let's use the extra fuel we gained under the safety car to our advantage. See if once we cross the line, we can't take Lewis and maybe make a nuisance of ourselves among the front three. That would be nice for us. If we could make a nuisance of ourselves with the front three, I I'd be okay with that. But we'll see how it goes coming into turn one. Are we going to make a dive on Hamilton? Or try and get him coming out of it, maybe? Going to drop the hammer here. Good stuff. It's all about the, uh, what's the DRS zone open. We're going to just try and stay in touch to the DRS zone. Try and keep Verstappen behind us. Because I feel like if Verstappen gets past us, he's going to get himself back into the title fight. And I'm not doing real-time maths on the title fight at the moment. As it stands, I know Sainz does win the title. I'm not sure about if Leclerc gets second. I think Sainz would still win. And Verstappen can make a nuisance himself if he tries to win, the, if he can win the race. But that's kind of the sit rep on this one as things go. So it's, uh, it's all very, uh, very up and down, left and right, BA start. You know how it goes. Um, so come on, buddy. Let's. That's Valtteri time, Lewis, or something. 
we've got to we've got to get past him in the near future because he's dropping off Leclerc quite quickly, and I'd like to think if we can get past him once the DRS opens, we can use what ERS we have to push up to the back of Leclerc, at least build a gap to Lewis so there's no DRS, and just kind of have our own race to the end. I don't mind us sitting on our own to the end. That doesn't bother me at all. It's not ideal, but it doesn't bother me at all. As uh, as Bottas looking up around the outside on Lewis, just having a look at the tyre strategy so far. We're okay for now. We're ahead of the curve, which is nice. I'm just wondering, are we far enough ahead of the curve to make it to the end with uh, without a enabled without a pit stop or a safety car? That's my big question. Obviously, safety car would depend on if everyone else came in ahead of us. So that would be a question. Either way, we're going to go and have a look through this DRS. So now we have DRS. I'm going to get ready to just go full deploy to try and catch up to Leclerc once we make the DRS move stick. Nice overtake attempt. Was it? Was it? We're not there yet. DRS open. We're going to go for it around the outside. Come on, buddy. Come on, I've given you the overtake order. Why are you not pushing yourself past Lewis? What are you doing, bud? Come on, come on, make it work. Have a maybe another look through the second DRS zone. We've got to make this happen now because Verstappen's right on the back of us as well. So we have got to push past Lewis and get ourselves fully deployed. We're going to get on the outside, are we? Is that the plan? Looks like it's the plan. Let's go deploy. Let's get this done, Valtteri. And are we going to push ourselves away now and leave Hamilton and Verstappen to have a little battle in Abu Dhabi? That would be the ideal. We're going to try and stay up the inside here through this tricky little section coming through to the hotel. We're, uh, we're still a little bit wheel to wheel, but I think we're going to be okay to hold on through the final couple of corners. I am going to drop down to neutral because I don't want to use all of our ERS if I can avoid it. And uh, there we go. We're free, clear. And ahead of Lewis for the time being. Hopefully we'll start building that gap. Because as I said, we do have better tyres than Lewis. And Verstappen, actually. That's good. That's a good sign. Okay. We're doing okay. So let's just go zoom ahead. Hamilton somehow has ended up... Oh, I switched to lead him. How does he end up two seconds behind immediately? Now I understand. That's what's happened. Right, we're going to zoom ahead. Because we are going to need to start building that gap on Lewis. Uh, Valtteri is actually slowly slowly raining in Charles Leclerc. We've got another safety car. And uh, now I have to have a think. There are 26 laps left. I think a set of mediums will go 20-something. Uh, that's a big question mark, isn't it? Big question mark. Okay, let's do the sensible thing. Let's ask Mr. Strategist what he thinks. Do we think if we add a medium stint in on this lap here, mm, it's a bit early. It's a little bit early. Okay. Let's try something else then. Let's see if that we're just going to try and save the tyres, I think. We'll save the tyres for now, because I have a feeling there's going to be another another pit stop, any, another safety car anyway. Just a sneaking suspicion. So we'll just conserve everything, harvest, have a nice little uh, rest for a while, get ourselves caught up to the safety car. I'm not even sure who is out because of the safety car or who has caused the safety car. We'll have a little look in a second because that's kind of come out of nowhere. Like Kevin Magnuson. Let's, Let's see what, see what happens. Let's see what mess Why Kevin Magnuson got. Kevin Magnuson. There's a lot of cars around him. He's not taking anyone out with him, has he? He's just gone. They've lost control and the crash. Massive understeer. Massive understeer is the headline for that one. That's okay. That's, that's brought us nicely into the right. I don't know if anyone's going to come in four tyres. Uh, Hamilton and Vettel, unless they've got another set of hards probably won't come in, but you'd like to think it'd be a good time for it, wouldn't you? If you were going to pick, if you had a set, of, a set of hard right now, you would come in for them. 
and try and go to the end. Doesn't look like anyone's coming in so far. We'll see obviously how the back end of the field feels. Uh, Guan Yu Show is not coming in so far. Which would be he'd be the next one I think would benefit from coming in. Okay, no one's oh, coming in. We're just forming there? up. Pierre Gasly has somehow run wide under the safety car. That's pretty impressive. We can see Carlos Sainz up ahead, warming his tyres up, keeping things in check. We're going to be all right. Carlos Sainz on the hards as well. Um, this safety car could be costing him a title. I'll be honest, it could be costing him a title. We'll see how it goes. Let's uh, let's see when we get the safety car in this lap message. It's not going to be this lap. That's good. That's good. Saving the tyres. Beautiful stuff. That's what we want to see. Just let us save our tyres. Safety, safety car, safety car this in this Perfect. lap. That's good knowledge. Okay, so we are sort of back on track with the with the tyres for now. Um, obviously, if something happens, another safety car happens at a time we can get in comfortably for mediums, we'll go for it because we'd be mad not to. But for now, we're just going to let it ride. Let it ride, see how it goes. We'll uh, get ready to go. Right, let's go. Standard, push, and we'll have some overtake. Why not? Let's go for it coming out of the uh, the final, or the first corner, I should say. We've, uh, we've probably pushed a little bit too early on that, Valtteri. Uh, you can't overtake before the line anyway. There was nothing to gain by doing that. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, Valtteri. Let's see what we can do. Vamanos, Valtteri. Let's get ourselves into our potential podium position. I'm feeling good about this. Let's see how it shakes out, but I'm feeling okay about it. We're going to have to... Oh, we're making a cheeky little look up the inside of Charles Leclerc. Very cheeky little look. We're going to go for a little dive bomb into the hairpin, are we? No, no, okay. It's okay, we're, we're, we're keeping him honest, we're keeping him honest, and we're pulling away from Lewis somehow, sort of, it's, uh, it's close, but somehow, sort of, it's the best I can do. Right, let's get another look here, through the DRS zone, easy big braking zone coming through there, I am going to have to drop down to neutral, I think, because uh, otherwise, we're just not going to make anything happen, and we're, we're staying close to Charles, we're doing okay, let's... Uh, Let's just see how this plays out, see if he disappears, or see if we can drop Lewis once DRS opens. Hamilton somehow closed up right behind us. Sector 2, another yellow flag. Someone's been a bad driver. That's a spin. Uh, that was Lance Stroll, who's fallen to the back of the field, because uh, you don't want to spin immediately after a safety car. You don't want to spin at all, ideally. You don't want to spin immediately after a safety car, because everyone will just go past you. DRS, DRS is back. DRS is back in business, and we just have to stay close enough to Charles to make something happen. We're going to go into overtake mode, because he's not going to use that much from that far away. He'll use enough to stay in range, which is kind of what I'm hoping for. And Science is holding everyone up, which is nice. And we have another go through here, another DRS zone. I've just realised we're going to rapidly lose all our ERS, so... Let's be a little bit sensible. We're not going to go around the outside there, are we? That would not be the one. Valtteri, please don't try that. Uh, we're okay. We're okay. We're fine. We've, we're comfortably in the top five for now. And as long as our tyres stay the course, we should be okay. I and mean, that's the other thing. I don't really want to drive too close to the cars ahead and burn out our tyres if I can avoid it. That's the other issue. But under the RS, we are obviously catching the leader because we're close enough that he's just hoped that when whoever is leading at that time is just holding up Leclerc. Science now takes the lead again. Leclerc trying to find a way through on Perez as well. Won't find it. It's absolutely fine. Valtteri, Valtteri is still just enjoying the uh, enjoying the experience. I think of uh, watching the championship battle this close at hand. Obviously, Perez the anomaly in there because uh, he has no title to fight for. He's just kind of making a nuisance of himself with the Ferrari drivers. And that is something I fully respect. If you're going to troll them, you may as well troll them. I mean, I suspect in real life Perez would drop out and let them go for it for the show. 
But, you know, it's okay. Science now, I think, Science finishing second and Leclerc finishing third might give Leclerc the title. This could be very close, this title battle. It could go literally any way at this point. It's very, very tough, very close. We're just doing our best to hold on to the back of the leading pack, which is all we can really ask of ourselves. Hamilton, Verstappen, Alonso, Vettel all in to the pits. Albon into the pits. We know the undercut is powerful, but we also know we can afford to hold station with Bottas now and hope for a safety car. So, it's not the worst. I don't think that Hamilton and Verstappen are going to get close enough to us to be a worry even under a, another safety car. And there's only 18 laps to go. We're almost at a point where we could get on softs if a safety car came out. Not that we should be thinking that far ahead, getting that far ahead of ourselves, but we've already seen a couple of safety cars. I have a feeling a third one could come. As Science comes into the pits and hands Valtteri Bottas a step on the podium, and Carlos Sainz may have just handed the title to Charles Leclerc, because that's not the right time to be pitting. That's, in fact, a very bad time to be pitting, especially if you're not going to make it past Gasly, although Guan Yu Zhou really has no business being in seventh. That would be Aston Martin's first points of the season, I think, if they were to hold it there. They must be about to use... I mean, he's pretty good on tyres. He's on, on the same strategy as us, just about. So, maybe, maybe Guan Yu Zhou going to pull a little surprise, having finished two laps down in several races this season. If he could sneak a point, that would be very interesting. He's gonna, he would have to cost science the title to do it. But, you know, we, we like to see an underdog story. We're always happy with that. We are staying in touch as well with the DRS. We're, uh, because Leclerc and Perez are too busy trying to hold each other up, they're kind of keeping Valtteri in it, which is not unwelcome, to be honest. I, I'm quite happy with that, especially if we can build that gap to Lando. We'd be all right there. We'd be okay in that situation. If we could just build like an even bigger gap to Lando, I'd be more comfortable, but... We're staying in this this lead podium DRS train, and staying in that DRS train is going to be quite a big deal, I think. So we're uh, we're going to see if we can get ourselves healthily away from Lando, and you know, maybe we'll be able to call it a uh, call it a season at that point. Oh, we had a little look around the outside of Perez there. Bottas is never going to say, never going to say no to a sniff of an overtake. That's for sure. He's not shy about having a look. If one of these guys makes a mistake, he'll happily take advantage of it. And Bottas is doing very well. Bottas is doing wonderfully in this drive, considering he's got a car that scrambles together of whatever bits that Teo Porsche didn't destroy over the course of the season. He's somehow managing to stay with the lead pack within a second of the leader, or just outside a second of the leader, and DRS just brings him right back into the battle every single time. It's just kind of poetic, it's beautiful. Valtteri Bottas, what a hero for us at this stage. We're, uh, we're just looking to see how far he can take it. I think he can probably take it. Take it to the hole is what we're looking for, really. Uh, we're just off track on tyres. It's really tight. I mean, I do, I do wonder if there's an argument for go a little bit less hard on the tyres, maybe just to get to the end. But I've just got a, I've got a, a feeling there's another safety car coming. I don't know why I have a feeling there's another safety car coming. I just have a little feeling there's another safety car coming in the very near future. And if it happens, people will say that I've rigged the or I've done the commentary after the race. I can assure you I'm doing the commentary live. Um, <laughs> I am doing it live as I see the race. So if we get another safety car, it's not foreshadowing. It's just a gut feeling for the comments below. There is nothing rigged here. I'm not making the story happen. I am just, just running on a gut feeling that something interesting 
could happen with a safety car towards the end of this race. And if it does, I want to be in a position to take advantage of it. We've just lost DRS for a second. We are going to hopefully get ourselves caught back up by the braking zone, are we? Are we going to be just outside? I mean, it's just outside. We're going to get DRS anyway because the game doesn't fully understand what under a second means. And we've pulled ourselves back into the race. Good stuff, Bottas. Nice job as Perez and Leclerc still fighting, although admittedly not really for anything at this point. Just Guan Yu Zhou came, oh, he's had dropped a lot of places. It's like he just let a bunch, he must have gone off. He must have locked up somewhere to have lost that many places that quickly. 11 laps to go, 12 laps to go, and set to three yellow flag safety car. Doesn't look like it. Looks like Yuki Sonoda's had an off, which is just standard at this point, quite frankly. That's just how it goes. Are we going to get DRS again? We're not. Crash on track in sector one. Uh, who's in yellow flag? Are we going to get that safety car coming out? I think that was. I don't plan. think we are. Guan Yu Zhou's had a, a crash, now. which so is just Guan Yu Zhou doing Guan Yu Zhou things. He's got involved with someone else. And he's... That crash is terrible news for the team. I mean, I'm going to say that's on Guan Yu Zhou. That's definitely on Guan Yu Zhou, right? Back on board with Valtteri Bottas as he still tries to chase down the leaders. At well, least stay in touch with them. We're just, we're just trying to drop Norris, really, at this point. We just don't want Norris to catch us because Norris could take a podium if he does. Science is going to be fighting his way through the field. He's only got 11 laps to get himself back up to us. And he's solidly 8 or 9 seconds behind us. So. He'd have to get some overtaking done very quickly here. I think he'll take Ricardo in the next DRS zone for sure. There we go. Got it done into the braking zone. And now he needs to try and track down Lando Norris. And it all depends how much him and Lando fight, really, as to how likely we are to hold on to our place in the top three. Could go almost any way here. I'm just having a little look at the tyres again. Tyre situation looks respectablish um it's never a word it's fine right push let's push for some time and indeed for some some fuel just to try and get ourselves back involved a little bit try and get, make things a little bit even we are on the back of the rear wing again will perez good um, stuff let's job. save a little bit of fuel with eight laps to go are these tyres going to get eight laps? I think they will get eight laps. They're not going to. They're not going to fall apart. I just question if they're going to have any speed left in them. Um, they don't. Norris is going to absolutely do us as well. That's that's what really concerns me. And Science is on much better tyres as well. Running shows come out on softs. We do need I mean, a red flag right now. Would be amazing. It's not going to happen, but a red flag right now would be amazing. But we're we're still in it. That's what's important. We're still in it. We just need to get these tyres to the end. I'm gonna... I'm gonna conserve them. Norris won't catch we us. We're not gonna get... Time. It's time to accept we're not gonna get any higher than third unless one of the guys ahead makes a mistake. So it's just about how do we keep Lando behind us. Cheers, Valtteri. Uh, that was exactly what I needed. Okay, so I think we've just brought out our own safety car. Chosen our own adventure. Good stuff, right? We're going to go for a set of hards. There's seven laps left. And we're going to have to take a new rear wing. Uh, crash. That, you know what, that's probably less. A set of mediums right now is actually a better bet. Keep an eye. Oh, Valtteri, you absolute moron. It's a crash. Let's have a look. Now we How have you retired with a broken out. front wing? He's just got too enthusiastic. Again. That's very unfortunate. Well, that's our season over then. <laughs> a little bit premature, but that's our that's season over. I think team. we'll uh, we'll Will go and have a little look recover? at the total we'll battle because if that has brought a safety car then it has brought our safety car, then suddenly the question becomes... The, car. Drop it. the 
the question becomes, will science or or Leclerc take the race win? We're going to speed things along. Anyone coming in for tyres? No one fancies fresh tyres. Okay, Guan Yu Zhou, if he was in a better car, you'd say would be in with a really good shot here, because I know he's on a set of pretty fresh soft tyres. You'd think he'd be in with a shot here if it weren't for the fact that he's driving an Aston Martin. Um, interesting. Let's see how this goes. From the restart, we have Leclerc leading from Perez, from Norris, from Sainz. Uh, Verstappen way down an eighth should have come in for tyres regardless because it was his only chance. Don't know why you wouldn't have come in for a set of softs, if I'm honest, in Max Verstappen's position because you have nothing to lose. And uh, we're going to just enjoy the rest of the race from off board with Charles Leclerc, who is uh, on a better set of tyres, I believe. Oh, I mean, tyres wise, Science could be in a good position here, you know. He could be in a good position. Well, you show might even make up a few positions just to tease us as Perez is having a little sniff of Leclerc. Leclerc will have a little look behind Charles just to see what that looks like. Good stuff. Enjoyed that. We'll go off board. Back to racing action as Carlos Sainz is going to have a little look at his old teammate Lando Norris. I mean, I hate to go in a real life situation because obviously we are just video gaming here. But in a real life situation, I think we all know with a fair degree of uh, a fair degree of confidence that if we're in this situation and Carlos Sainz needed to get onto the back of Charles Leclerc for a world title, Lando would let him go. I think we can all safely say Lando would let him go. But you know, the game doesn't understand that they're friends. One of my big bugbears that there's not an understanding of relationships between drivers on this game. Because, realistically, Norris would have let Science go, waved to him as he went by, and wished him well in his head for the world title. But, that's not to be, and currently Charles Leclerc is chasing his way to the title as well. I mean, I, you know, we're, I feel like we're going to go on board. We'll go on board with Carlos Sainz. Let's just watch this overtake happen. It's got to happen soon enough. We've got DRS open, have we not? We've not, because there's no DRS yet. Okay, so we're trying to, that's why he's not passed to me. He's having to do it on pure pace. And that's where the question marks come in. But, as I said, once he gets past him, once DRS is open, a couple of laps to go, three lap shootout, Science will get onto the back of Perez fairly quickly. And Perez, on tyres, could be the sitting duck. He could be a sitting duck on tyres. Because Perez is about to lose uh, lose out on his tyres massively. He's going to start hitting the wall of Deg. And Leclerc's not far behind. Norris isn't far behind. Carlos Sainz could fluke a world championship right now. It's very, very possible. We'll stay on board with Carlos all the way through to the end, though. Because I say all the way through. We'll stay on board with Carlos. Yeah, in fact, let's stay on board with Carlos through to the end. Because... At the moment, the winner doesn't matter. Carlos Sainz is trying to get his second world title, and I just have a sneaking suspicion he may be able to make that happen. Don't know why, just a sneaky suspicion he may, he may be able to make it happen. So, he's going to have a look. He's going to look into this corner. He's not having a look just yet, so he's going to try and do it under DRS, which should be a fairly easy pass. We'll get the intervals up. This should be a slam dunk overtake. Come on, bud. Uh, you've, you've just literally just got to have a look. And it's done. And Carlos Sainz, DRS, past Lando Norris, onto the podium. And now the race, the battle is on. Leclerc, Perez, Sainz. Who is going to win the race? And who is going to come out of it as the world champion? Currently, Carlos Sainz needs to get himself focused on getting ahead of Charles Leclerc. That is his number one function. I wish I could have two of these screens up at once, but such is life. Tyres-wise, Science is absolutely in this hunt. He should be lapping. In fact, we can see his last lap. He should be lapping faster. We will see at the end of this lap. He should be lapping faster than Leclerc and Perez. By the end of this lap, I would say for certain, we will see how that looks when he crosses the line. He may even take the fastest lap here, in fact. That's just how uh, 
how things are rolling for us. See what the lap times look like. He is the fastest man on track. 1.3 seconds faster than his teammate. 4 tenths faster than the leader. And I think he's going to pull himself into the DRS range of Charles Leclerc before the end of this last little straight into the hairpin with DRS detection point. He should have been well within that one second. DRS about to open. And is, is Charles Leclerc about to get a very rude awakening at the hands of his teammate? He's going to try the move on Perez. He's going to get past Perez. Is Sainz going to squeeze away past Perez? Is what? Not quite. But, again, better tyres, better traction. We should see it here. Once the DRS is open, he should start making some big inroads on Perez. It should be time to sort of squeeze past him. Tyres-wise, Perez's tyres are done as well. That This is where the big battle, the big bucks get earned because all three of the leaders are within four tenths. And there's a world title on the line and Carlos Sainz must smell the blood in the water at this point. He's got to smell the blood in the water. Perez has got to be just hanging on for dear life, quite frankly, at this point. Whereas Sainz will be fairly comfortable on those mediums. Leclerc finds a way past Perez. Is Sainz going to find a way through, through on Perez? Final lap begins and Carlos Sainz needs to have the absolute lap of his career. If he's going to be the 2023 World Drivers' Champion. He's got some good exit on the, on the first corner here. He's going to go have a look at Perez. He's, he's got to get Perez coming out of this hairpin. And then he's got to just go for Charles Leclerc. He has no choice, quite frankly, but to go for Charles Leclerc. Two DRS zones to go. First one about to open up. We should see Sainz start closing on Perez fairly quickly. Perez is going to have another look at Leclerc. He's, not, he's feeling like he's not out of this yet. I think he probably is out of this at this point because Science is certainly going to have a go. Even if he can't pass him, he's going to have a go at, at Sergio coming out through this DRS zone. Come on, buddy. Get yourself onto the back of them. Get a good dive a good dive ball at the inside. You could take both of them here. That's all I'm saying. I'd do it. If I was driving, I'd have a good dive ball about here and see what I can get done. And we're going to go for a look on Perez here. Can we get it done? Oh, hasn't got it done. Sainz has not managed to get it done on Perez. And that was his world title opportunity gone. Because now Leclerc just has to park his car in the right place to be able to bring this one home. Lando Norris has managed to hold, hold on to the back of Sainz really well as well. Disappointing for him not to get himself a a podium here off, the, off of this drive. But across the line... Leclerc, Perez, Sainz, Norris, Hamilton, Ricardo, Russell, Verstappen takes the final point in eighth place. And that is all she wrote for the season. And uh, we're about to see the crowning of a world champion. That is where we're heading in just a second's time. Not much for Valtteri Bottas to celebrate here today. Not quite the result Williams would have been aiming for this weekend. It just goes to show any team can have an off day or two. And after this result, the team is fourth in the constructor standings. And that's it for this season of Formula One. The teams will be working hard in the break, gearing up for another year of thrilling F1 action. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit disappointed that we didn't get a graphic to show us the driver's champion. That's it, I'm sure we got one last season. So, confirmation, Charles Leclerc takes the win, Perez, Sainz, Norris, Hamilton, Ricardo, Russell and Verstappen. The points, let's find out who our world champion for 2023 is, though. That's the important thing. Charles Leclerc has taken it by 11 points from Carlos and Sainz. So, I mean, even if Sainz had passed him, it wouldn't quite have been enough, unfortunately. Just done them just quick math that in my head. It wouldn't have been enough. We'd have needed Leclerc to drop back a little bit. So Charles Leclerc becomes a one time F one world champion. Carlos Sainz, second place, nothing to be sniffed at, and the constructors of course won by Ferrari. 
apologies, the, uh, the cough has still gone away. Um, I'm trying my best to maintain it. There we go, it's like, uh, we've got some development points going into next season that will help us out immensely. And uh, we will see what we can achieve here with adding points to drivers. I'm going to go through to the, uh, I guess I go through to the, the end of the winter break, but I'm going to see what we come out time-wise at the end of all of this because it might be a separate episode i don't think it will but it might be so we just have to figure it out uh we are in the in fact, John, let's screw let's finish off the year and we'll pick up the next part of the year uh on the next next season on january 1st so uh midfield victory i want to congratulate you exceed expectations more confidence in your abilities williams climbed top positions championship next good Difficult race, 21st when we saw that. Car development unlocked. Uh, we don't want to design or manufacture any parts. The warehouse has been cleared out. Beautiful. Clean board review. Morabilia are in poor condition. I guess we'll have a little, uh, a little refurb of that because that's something that does something for us. I'm not entirely clear what. Uh, weather center. In fact, sure, let's do only weather center over the winter. That's a good idea because that will help us to predict some stuff next season. I'm not worried about parts. Cars missing parts, sure, but what are we going to use them for? It's fine, we're about to design an entirely new one. Right, we're going to go for Oscar Piastri is going to go for smoothness again because I want more tyres. Oh, Piastri gets an end of season boost to a 78. Nice stuff. David Schumacher, I cannot imagine, is going to take a boost. Let's go with braking because it makes no difference. Uh, anything on the staff side before we actually get into that too. We have got one for Michael Huber, our tech chief. Let's get a point on him for side pods. That's good. Oh, he's gone up an overall rating point as well. It's all coming at Millhouse. Is Roberta going to get one as well? We're going to drop that on her airflow management because that's where she's weakest. She doesn't get a boost. Bit sad. Alex Chan doesn't have anything yet. And neither does Matthias Spini. Good. Okay, so uh, anything happening there, end of season. Good stuff. Let's continue. See what happens. Right, important email. Let's see what's happening with that one. Staff changes. Um, post season report on our staff roster. Let's see how that goes. Right, we've got Michael Huber secured, Pellegrini secured, Chan and Spinney secured. They've got ages left on their contract. I'm not worried about them just yet. Driver changes. Let's have a little look at that. Oscar Piastri is secure till the 2026 season. Same with Valtteri Bottas. That's nice. And David Schumacher. I've got secure until 2025. But honestly, I might replace him at some point in the near future. We'll see how that goes. Right. Sponsorship obligation is going to bring us in a touch more cash, you would hope. Uh, memorabilia room is refurbished. That will keep Claire happy. End of season review. Target position 7th, final position 4th. Uh, our long term objective for, by the end of next season was to score points in half the season's races, and we did that with bells on this season. Uh, performance wise, we've gone up to being a noteworthy team. Uh, Bottas finished 7th in the Drivers' Championship. We've gone up some in the Constructors' Championship. Uh, we've done something in the Drivers' Championship somehow. The driver's standing, so now we've got a bonus of one and a half million. That will do us nicely. Uh, the pit crew performance is going to drop again. Memorabilia refurbished. Beautiful regulation changes. Just some airflow regs. Nothing. I mean, essentially, just made the cars a touch slower for the start of next season, which will work out absolutely fine for us. So we're going to keep on going forward. We've right, upgraded our hospitality area. That's good. That's more money in the bank. Tour centre needs refurbishing. Uh, just, just wants me to chuck money at stuff. Uh, something else is about to tell me needs refurbishing as well. I cannot remember for the life of me what it is. Uh, wind tunnel needs refurbishment. Um, in fact, uh, I don't know if I want to do a wind tunnel up. We'll, 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 we'll save that for a second. Um, just in case. Uh, suspension simulator. Again, we'll just refurbish rubbish that for now. I know we need to do some work on that, but money is an issue and I just want to keep that in mind for now um, because we can do, we, we'll be able to afford to do an upgrade. I just need to be able to see how things shake out money-wise come the start of next season because obviously our priority 
really does have to be making sure we have as good a car as possible going into next season, or as fast a car as possible going into next season. We're going to complete some research here. Uh, that's good. We are deep in December though, so I don't know if we're actually going to, have to use any of that to our benefit. I don't. Oh, I don't know if I want to do any driver scouting. Let's see if any young drivers appeared yet. There haven't been. Okay, we're all good for now. We're good. That's fine. Uh, important email. That's going to be our chassis research. Let's see if we can get a research done on any. I'm not sure. I don't think we're going to get another chassis done. I just have a feeling we're not going to get another chassis done. Don't, don't ask me why. I just have a feeling we're not going to get another chassis done in the next 11 days. Uh, we're not. Okay, anything else I can get done in the next X days? Uh, what's quite a small part? Let's get this. Side pods, I think, would be fairly, fairly quick, would they not? No, they're slow. Good stuff. I, I worked that out well. Uh, let's try some suspension. Can we get a suspension fairly quick? That would be nice. Again, we'll try it for race performance. And is that viable? Not viable at all. Uh, good, thank you. I guess we'll just have to try the front wing then. See if a front wing of any benefit is viable. We're going to go for a high speed performance because that is where we focus. I don't think we're getting anything else done. I'll have another look once we get another research project finished. It should be in the next few days. I don't think it's going to happen, if I'm honest. I think we've probably got as good a car for next season as we're going to get. Refurbished our tour centre. Nice new carpet down. Good stuff. Everyone's happy. Hell, it boardroom poor condition. Well, I need the boardroom, guys. Um, that's where I do the cocaine. That's just got me demonetized by YouTube. Uh, good job, wasn't making any money. Uh, that's fine. Right, we'll do a we'll do a heli powered refurb as well because it costs nothing for a little bit of tarmac, and uh, we really don't have to be more sensible with money at this point. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We're just going to keep going forward. Research is about to complete on something or other to give us a car of our dreams for next year to see what happens. Our last research completes. On the, sun, on the last day of the year, just sneak that in as well. Underfloor is done. Keep going forward. Why not? Go on, tell me what else in bad condition. Good stuff. Right, uh, refurbishing the facility, whatever facility you need to refurb. Next is going to be complete. That's our suspension simulator. Good. We're back. Back in full, full swing. And uh, we're about to go to the last day of the season. Ready to see aerodynamic testing period ending, ready for the new car period, ready for a new rear wing. I feel pretty strong about this car for this season. I will it let me see where we are with that car on the grid at this point. It looks like hmm, you dropped a little bit. Actually I said that. There are no parts on that. Let's change it to the other car that has all the parts. Uh, good. There we go. We're all right. We're okay. That's I was having kittens. Right. Hey, I'm going to wrap things up there, guys. Thank you for watching. I have, as always, been Chasing Lamey. We'll be back next episode with the first race of the 2024 season in Bahrain. The drivers are going nowhere. The car hopefully will be. Anyway, until next time, like, subscribe, ring the bell, all that good stuff. And I'll see you all very soon. Until next time, have a good one.